All right, the joke of the day. What did Tigger find in the toilet? Poo! <laughs> All right, so it's been a crazy weekend here at Resale America, Lakeland, Florida, where we own the world's largest liquidation store. Uh, today, I want to just show you a little, a little small haul that I got the other day. A few things that people have been, look at all the piles of stuff people have been bringing in our store over this weekend. Down here we have, uh, looks like an old hand-wheeled tricycle, a Cannondale bike. World War II uniforms, just just crazy stuff. We're trying to put out all the uh, Target baby stuff. So I am Tom, my channel's Liquidation Motivation, and I am flipping Florida. Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Liquidation Motivation, where I'm flipping Florida and I'm trying to teach people how to make money off buying and selling stuff on Amazon, eBay, uh, Marketplace, all the, the different places you can make money in this world. So I got a small haul here I just wanna show you real quick. Um, it was a super busy weekend. You can see our store is closed. There was thousands of people that came through the door today. It's been incredible. We were on the TV not too long ago on a, on a morning program called Mornings with Charlie. So a big shout out to Charlie. Thank you so much. He's tripled our business since we were on there. If you have a store and you're in the Tampa area, I recommend you try to get on with Charlie. So my quick haul. First of all, we got these two little Fisher Price, you know, lawnmower or whatever, bubble poppers. I mean, they're very inexpensive. We only paid $2 for them. I think we can get $5 in our store for them. Uh, bicycle seats. I buy a lot of bicycle seats. So this is five dollars at Goodwill and this is a Schwinn bicycle seat. It's like a saddle seat. On eBay this is going for about $25. Uh, a hamster cage. I went to a auction and somebody threw this out on the sidewalk so I picked it up. I can get about ten dollars out of it. I got it for free. I'm not afraid to go into dumpsters, to find garbage, to, to, to get money wherever money's not normally found. Don't be afraid if you're in this business. Here we got a Razor scooter and this little scooter. The wheels light up when the, when the kid goes. We paid $3 for it at Goodwill. And I think we're gonna get about $12.99 here in my store. Uh, this bicycle, look at this bicycle here. So it's a Kent bicycle, Kent Chaos. I think in the store it's about 80, 90 bucks. I paid $17. I'm gonna get 40 bucks in my store out of it. It's in great condition, so from 17 to $40. Next I have some shoes. I went to half price day at the Salvation Army every Wednesday half price day. Cleats were $7.99, I got them for $4. These things will bring about $35 on eBay right here. Now look at these Converse, brand new leather Converse. I don't know if they're leather or pleather. $12.99, so half price, so I paid $6.50 for these. Looking them up, they've never been worn. I'm getting about 40 bucks on eBay for stuff like that. Another pair of cleats, I paid $3 for. These will probably go in my store for $12.99. Small pair of Under Armour sneakers. They were only $1.50. I'm going to put them on for $14.99. Try to blow them out. Another cheap pair of cleats, only $3. $12.99 in my store. And then another pair of Nike soccer cleats. What do we pay for these? Uh, four bucks. I think they're worth about $14.99. I got a few things of clothing. I always go through the jackets. Remember, go through the jackets. The advantage we have that other people don't have is we look things up in our store, but they don't have that luxury at, at Goodwill or Salvation Army. So they price everything the same price. All the jackets the same price. All the baseball bats the same price. All the gloves, all the expensive, all the cleats, everything they price the same price. That's their strategy. And then we, the buyers, the flippers come in and we look for the arbitrage. We look for how they made a mistake. So these are a few things I think they made a mistake on. So for $3.98, I got this really nice Adidas jacket. I'm going to put this on eBay for $24.99 or best offer. It's a female's extra large, $25. Uh, here is a fleece jacket, a Nautica fleece jacket, $3.98. I think they messed up on that price. I think I'm only going to be able to get about the same thing, $24.99 or best offer on eBay. Next, I have an Old Navy pea coat. I love pea coats. For some reason, anytime I get a pea coat, it sells fast, sells super fast. $3.98. This is going to do $29.99. And then, final piece of clothing I got, $6.98. This is a sport coat, a Ralph Lauren sport coat, but it's corduroy. So I always look for the camel hair, the corduroy, the uh, uh, you know any high-end fiber that we can find 100% wool cashmere those are the only coats I buy 
you know, and then I look for a good name within it. So this is $6.98, I'm gonna put it on for $39.99 or best offer on eBay. Uh, a set of Bose speakers. So these are the 301 Bose. You look them up, look them up right now on eBay. They're $100 on eBay. I paid $29.99. Bose 301 speakers, a set of two. I got a little bit, a little bit of damage on here, but I can easily put some glue on it and fix it up. Next, an Ankyo receiver here, $24.98. I got it with the remote. You don't normally get them with the remote, so when, it, when you are, do have the opportunity for a remote, you pick it up. With the remote, this is a Pro Series receiver. It's $100. I can sell it for $100. $24.98 to $100. And then the last but not least, what I picked up was a, a Walt Disney Treasure Island uh, movie poster. So this was in the store, it was $40, I got it half price, I got it for $20, and it's framed, it's matted, it's professionally done. Uh, you know, I live in the Tampa area, my store's in Lakeland, so we get a lot of Disney stuff around our area. So for $20, I think that I could probably sell this for $100. It was a great find, it was a great deal. Overall, I made $280, and it only took me about 40 minutes at Goodwill today. All right, so remember, you too can stop working for the man. I encourage all my employees here to stop working for me and go out there and flip and buy and sell and, and learn from my, my messages, my roles, my everything that we do here. Learn to work for yourself so you don't have to be told what time to get up. You don't have to be told what time to go to bed or what time to go to lunch. Uh, Resale America is my store in Lakeland, Florida. I am Tom, I'm Flipping Florida. Liquidation Motivation is my channel. So please follow, subscribe. Now go out there and make some money.